Hey guys, Clint Rutledge here at DBAT New Braunfels. I hope you're off to a great start to 2018. You know, here at DBAT, every single month this year, we're going to have a theme of the month. And our first theme to start the year is something that we, we believe is extremely important to your success. That theme is attitude. You see, in any task you undertake, the majority of your success is determined by your attitude. In fact, in a study done at Harvard University, Zig Ziglar used to always talk about this, they proved that in any task you undertake, only 15% of your success is determined by your aptitude. That's your talents and your capabilities. And 85% of your success is determined by your attitude. So as you undertake a task, the single most important trait that's going to determine whether or not you're successful is your attitude. And we want to help you be successful here at DBAT, whether it's baseball, softball, or most importantly, life. So you'll find as you come and do lessons, as you come to our camps or our classes, whatever it may be, or you just walk through the door, we're going to greet you and encourage you in your attitude. You know, in fact, there's a story that I think illustrates this well. It's kind of an analogy. If you can imagine yourself back in medieval times, you're walking down the road, and as you go down the road, it's hot and dusty. A horse passes you. There's a carriage. There's the clanging of people doing all their trades. And as you go down that road, you come upon a guy that's got a sledgehammer, and he's busting rocks. You ask that man, hey, what are you up to? He looks at you kind of like you're crazy and says, I'm busting rocks. What does it look like I'm doing? You go, all right. Well, as you walk on down the road, you come to a second guy. He's got a sledgehammer and he's busting rocks. You ask that man, hey, what are you up to? He says, I'm making a living. All right, a little better perspective. As you walk a little further down the road, you come to a third man. He's got a sledgehammer and he's busting rocks. You ask that man, what are you up to? He stops what he's doing and he looks at you in the eye with an intensity and enthusiasm and he says, I'm building a cathedral. You go, wow, that's awesome. Well, where do you find yourself today? Are you more like the first man who, when you wake up in the morning, you're just going to get through the day. No enthusiasm, no sense of purpose. You're just going to get the day over with. If you find yourself there, I want to challenge you to try to step up to the next guy. At least the next guy was doing something with a purpose. Find purpose in what you're doing. He was making a living. Now the danger in staying there is he was probably also just doing the minimum. He was just doing enough to please his boss. Do you find yourself that way at work or at school or at practice? All you're doing is just enough to get by. When you do a drill, you just do the drill to get it over with. If you're there, I want to challenge you to become like the third guy. The third guy was a part of something great. The third guy was doing something with an intentionality and a purpose to get better and to build something fantastic. I want to challenge you today to build a great life. That could include a great baseball career, a great softball career. But more importantly, what kind of life are you building? Because you see, whatever habits you develop and how you approach something will determine your success in everything you do. So develop an attitude of gratitude. You know, we don't need any more teenagers or young people with bad attitudes. Those are a dime a dozen, and we've got plenty of them. We need more young people and older people who are approaching life with a great attitude, with a smile on their face and the intention of getting better today. Thank you guys for being a part of DBAT. We will see you next month with our next theme of the month in February. Have a great day.